Live PD fans are in for a special treat. We're joined by our very special guest tonight, Sergeant Sean Sticks Larkin. You know his work in studio there with Live PD each and every week. Thanks for coming up in the cheap seats with us after being down in the front row there. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> Pleasure. You've had a chance to kind of watch this competition here through a couple of runs. Your impression so far? Amazing. I mean, to see police canines and then to see a civilian dog out there with it, just it, it blows me away, honestly. You had to root for the Bulldogs. Right? I did root yeah. for the Bulldogs. <laughs> but this little dog has some big competition. Like our next team from North Carolina, Team Demi. Demi's speed and laid back demeanor were what sold him on partnering up with her. I'm Jared Backe. I currently work at Fayetteville Police Department, and this is my partner, Canine Demi, and she's a three and a half year old Dutch Shepherd. People might recognize me from Live PD Presents Women on Patrol. I can remember meeting Demi for the first time, and I said, that's the one I want. And she's turned out to be the best decision I could have made. Watch out, because Team Demi is going to take this trophy home to Fayetteville, North Carolina. All right, Sticks, you must be rooting for this Live PD team. I think they're going to do well. The work that they're doing back there in North Carolina is going to pay off out here on the obstacle course. All right, it is time to see what our Live PD team can do as they tackle the K-9 combine. Demi needs to beat Blitz's time of 2 minutes, 59.83 seconds to guarantee a spot in the next round. Oh, come on, good. So far, off to a great start here on the car slalom. As you know, Sticks, these K-9 units generally don't have issues getting in and out of vehicles, right? That's everyday part of the job. Exactly. exactly. On the fire escape in under 40 seconds. Fastest time so far. Uh-oh, uh -oh. she's losing focus. It may be cute, but there are no points for adorable, Kurt. If the dog can't pull down the door, after 30 seconds, the handler can do it. Oh, what a bummer. When Demi goes back and looks at the tape, she's not going to like it. After another 30-second struggle, Officer Baki pulls down the door. They can't escape the fire escape. And again, 30 seconds on level three, Demi's struggling here. I would ask you what you would do in this situation, Sticks. This is not my territory. I can tell you my answer. I'm going to get on the radio. I'm going to call for K-9 officer. OK, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to do. They lost time on fire escape, now over two minutes. Had a girl. Can they make up the time? Good girl. Come on. There's that Dutch Shepherd speed. Quick through high oh, jump. Good girl. Hey, no problem with the rope bridge. That was their best move just yet. Demi's found her focus and is making up time. She's loving the water. Maybe because it's not a fire escape. Now a strong doggy paddle sprint to the finish. Team Demi finishes the combine in a time of 3 minutes, 9.93 seconds. We're all wondering who will be that fourth dog. Moving on to round two. Will it be Team Demi? who just ran, or might it be our final team? Coming to us all the way from the police department in Montgomery, Alabama, it's our youngest team tonight, Team Scoot. They're here to prove they're just as wise as any other team, and age is just a number. My name is Officer Alex Lindsay. I work for the Montgomery Police Department in Alabama. This is my partner, Scoot. He is a Belgian Malinois, and we've been partners for a little over a year now. Woo! Scoot just likes to run full force as fast as he can, which is amazingly fast. Being young and competitive, Team Scoot's going to obliterate the competition. To avoid elimination, the time to beat is 3 minutes, 9 seconds. Oh, how quick was he out that window? Oh, my goodness. Through two vehicles in 10 seconds. Wow. Holy cow. What do you think, Sticks? Can you keep up with a melon? No, no. <laughs> Look, less than 20 seconds and pulls the rope down on the fire escape. This dog has a chance to maybe have a record run tonight. Great job, yes. You can't stop Scoop. You can only hope to contain him. Scoot's laser focused on Officer Lindsay. They clearly have a connection. Watching their run, if I'm Team Demi in last place, I'm getting nervous. Yeah. Looking good. Sit down, Lindsay. Officer Lindsay is burning some time to refocus this young dog. Oh, beautiful. Didn't even know. Wow. Whoa. 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 Scoot's running like he's got a plane to catch. Right over the rope bridge, and now into the splashdown. Oh, no. This is Scoot's inexperience. He's not listening to Officer Lindsay and looking for the easy way in. He has to go back to the start because you have to go in the proper way. Now we're seeing at the end where a three-year-old high-drive, high-energy Belgian Allen walk can be a disadvantage. There we go. Now that he's in the pool, it looks like they're going to advance. Yeah. 
despite the hiccups. Two minutes, 22.38 seconds. This is the second fastest time tonight and only three seconds slower than Team Murphy. Unfortunately, that eliminates Team Demi. Want more America's Top Dog? Subscribe to A&E for new videos uploaded every week and catch full episodes on AETV.com.